and welcome to day 83 of 90 days of numbers so we've got another formula today and we're using the convert one so as you can see here this is good for converting different measurements so all we need to do is enter a cell press the equals button and write the word convert we then have the option um, as you can see it will come up um, to fill in a few different aspects so the first one we're going to fill in is the number we want to convert so um, i'm just going to put one in here for now um, to give us an example and then you're going to put in the unit from that you want to convert to so for this first example I'm going to put YD for yard you notice I've got the speech marks around it that's because I need it to be that instead of going on to a different um, function so you need to make sure you put the speech marks around them and then when you press enter it will convert one yard to a foot which is an FT now you obviously um i've got other examples here in exactly the same process but i've just used a different code so we've got celsius to fahrenheit centimeters to inches ounces to grams and cups to tablespoons which i did not know you can convert so that's going to make my cooking recipes much much easier um obviously one of the major things to do this and for it to work properly is that you need to know the code so i've added some of the codes here that you can find these are freely available so if you um type into a google search for example apple numbers and then convert um codes or convert um uh, sort of measurements these can come up but uh, these will just help you get started and there's loads of different ones you can do there's force energy um, you can do dates distances um, lots and lots of different things so it's a really easy way to set it up for conversion or you can use it with your students as well to get them converting different things um, so that they can see the different kinds of measurements and you could do this for maybe a science practical or something like that